Hey everyone, this is Corn Smith from TechTire.com, and today I'll be doing a tutorial on how to model a desk. Um, in this tutorial, I'll be modeling the desk which I currently work on, but with what you learn in this, hopefully you can uh, take away something on learning desks for assets in your scenes, uh, as well as whatever else you need them for. So with that, let's get started. So we're going to keep the default cube in here. Uh, I'll just tab into edit mode, and you go to face select. And we're just going to bring this bottom face here up. And then we're going to bring one of these side faces out. And we're going to press A twice to select everything. I'll just move that up a bit on the Z. And A to deselect. And then, so what we're going to do is we're going to do loop cuts in here to cut where we want our legs to extrude out. Uh, the reason we do this is it's a lot easier to extrude off the bigger body, in this case the tabletop. Uh, rather than attaching the smaller bodies to the bigger body. Um, gets a little dicey when that happens, so if I were to attach the legs, it gets a little... It's just not as clean, and it's easier to just extrude off, so that's how we're going to work from this. Uh, with that, let's get the cutting going. So we're going to go into orthographic by pressing 5, and then we're going to go to the top by pressing 7, and we'll start adding the cuts in. So we'll do Control r and we'll middle mouse wheel up, to get two, and then we'll scale down on the X by going S to scale, then X to scale that down, and move that over, and we're going to do that four times going vertically, so control R, mouse wheel, scale on the X, and just got the last one here. And so now that we have the uh, vertical ones going, we need to get some horizontal ones. So, we're going to do Control r mouse wheel up, and this time we're going to scale on the Y by going S, and then Y. Uh, move that up to the top. And same thing again. Control r middle mouse wheel, S on the Y. And move that down. And with that, we'll be ready to extrude our legs down. So we're going to go back into perspective by pressing 5. And then we're going to press A to deselect the faces we have. And we're going to go to the bottom to get the faces we want. So with my desk here, we're going to want these ones. Oh, first got to go into face select, sorry. So we we'll want these ones. And then since this is going to be a little cubby, uh, we're going to select all these faces here. Uh, it'll make sense once we go to do the extrude in, why we did this. Um, so we're going to go back up, extrude this down by pressing E. And there we go. So that on its own would be a pretty decent desk. Um, but that's not all we're going to do in this tutorial. We're going to build on to that a bit. Um, so we'll go back into edit mode. And first we'll add a couple loop cuts that we need. Um, my desk has a little side table here. So we're going to add some loop cuts so we can make that nice. And then we're going to add a small loop cut along the bottom. So do control R, middle mouse wheel up, scale on the Z axis by going S and then Z. And we'll just move that up into place. I'll explain why we did the two cuts when we get to the side table. It'll all make sense there. Uh, but for now, it's good as it is. And then we'll do one more cut along the bottom. So Control r move that down. And there we go. So on my desk, there's a little compartment here. So we're going to go into face select mode. Select these three faces here. And we go back into orthographic by pressing 5. And then we're going to go to the left view, or right view rather, sorry, uh, by pressing 3. And we're going to press Z to go on the wireframe. And we're going to extrude these faces back. So we're going to press E to extrude. And I'll just drag that back to about there. And press Z to go back. And if you look, we've got a nice compartment in there now. And so once we have that, 
Uh, we just have to do the side table now for my desk. So we're going to go and select these faces here. And then we're going to go back in the orthographic again and press 7 to go to the top. And we're just going to extrude this out. So, looks about right there. So that's where the side is. Um, now I can explain why we had these faces here. Um, as it is a table, these uh, come off a bit uh, on the body. So since that's the top, we'll just have to extrude that out. side here and there you go so they have the little table part there now um, last thing we're gonna do um, my desk the side table here has a little compartment just like the cubby here as well as a drawer so we're gonna model those in so we're gonna do one loop cut drag that up and so this top parts gonna be the little cubby and the bottom parts gonna be the drawer so we're gonna go to face select and we'll select the top face. And what we're going to do right now is inset this. So we'll press I to inset. And we'll drag that in. And then we'll just select the middle face. And we'll go into orthographic by pressing 5. Front by pressing 1. And we'll press Z to go into wireframe. I'm just going to extrude that back. And press Z to go back. 5 to go into perspective. And there you go. So if you look at that, it's a pretty good compartment. Um, last thing we have to do is model the drawer in there. So we're going to select that face. Press I to inset. And we're going to select the middle face again. And same deal as before. We're going to go back in orthographic. Press 1 to go to the front. And Z to go into wireframe. And we're just going to extrude this back as deep as we want the drawer um, the drawer cover I guess to be so not too far back and then we go press Z to go back in the solid inset this a bit not very much though and then we're going to take that middle face again and we're going to go back to front and wireframe and we're gonna, now we're going to extrude that back out so don't want to go all the way out because we don't want it to be flush. We want it to be in a little bit. Because uh, if you look at drawers, they're not perfectly flush with their surface. Um, so with that, we'll press Z to go back into the solid. 5 to go in perspective. A to deselect. And tab to go back into object mode. And there you have it. We have our desk. Um, so a lot of things you can do with this. A lot of... Uh, modifications you can do. Uh, you could have like a curved back, uh, handles on your drawer, extra drawers there if you'd want. So yeah, there's lots of stuff you can do with desks. There's lots of variations. So uh, comment on the video uh, with what you've made. Uh, I'd like to see what you get out of this. Uh, and with that, that's Corn Smith from Tech Tyro, and we'll talk to you later.